Hi everyone, this is Spencer with MemberPress, and in today's video, I'm going to go over the simple yet powerful options that MemberPress offers you when editing or creating your memberships. I've already created a premium and trial membership, and I'm going to edit my premium membership. Let's go over the terms first. You can set any dollar amount here for your membership terms. In this case, I want it to be $100. You can also have the option to select a billing type that is either recurring or one-time. With one-time memberships, you can give users access for lifetime, meaning they will have lifetime access for the rest of forever after registering on your site, or you can set it to expire. If you set it to expire, you can have it expire under different circumstances. The first is to have it expire after an X amount of days, weeks, months, and years. And this option allows you to allow your users to renew on your site after their subscription has expi expired. If this isn't set, then they will not be able to renew again. Or you can set it to be a fixed expire. And what this will do is allow you to set any day in the future that will expire the access for any users who are signed up for this membership. So it doesn't mean, it means that <clears throat> if I sign up today and another person signs up a month from now, we will both still lose access on the day that is set here. Now the billing type can also be recurring as I mentioned and the intervals for the recurring can be set to be weekly, monthly, yearly, or every three and six or six months or even custom which I'm going to go over this one more because the others are pretty self-explanatory. The custom interval can be any X amount of weeks or months. So in this case I want my membership to be every four weeks the user has to pay me. You can also set a trial period for your recurring memberships. This is a feature that isn't available with one-time payments. The trial period can be any X amount of days, but if you want that to show up as weeks, months, or years, you need to have it be a certain multiple of those things. So for example, if I want it to show up as weeks, this X amount of days needs to be a multiple of seven, or of months, multiple of 30, or, a multi or uh, as years, multiple of 365. So in this case, I want it to show up as two weeks, so I have 14 days. You can also set the trial amount, which can be any dollar amount that you want to enter. Normally, this is going to be a lower price than your original <clears throat> cost of your membership or free to give users access to the content for free to try it out and see if they like it. Either way, it's a great way to allow your users to log on to your site for cheaper to see if they like it, to see if they want to continue their memberships on your site. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it $1. And you can also limit the payment cycles. So if you don't limit the payment cycles, your users will just have to continue paying you forever to have access to your site. If they fail to pay, then they will lose access to your protected content. Now you can <clears throat> limit the payment cycles to be any amount of days. In this case, I want it to be four payments of my $100 every four weeks. And you can also Make it so that your users have lifetime access after that, meaning again they'll have access to your site for the rest of forever, or you can expire that access. In this example, I want to expire their access so they have to sign up again. Another cool feature of MemberPress is that you can actually enable custom page templates for this um, registration form. So here I have the any custom page templates that are, you have will appear here. I only have two. In this example, I'm not going to select any, I'm just going to use the default, but just be aware that that's an option when editing or creating your memberships. Now let's go over the membership options. Um, in the registration tab, you can edit the registration button text to be anything you want. By default, it'll say, please sign, it'll say sign up. But in this case, I want it to say, please sign up, meaning that that button that's at the bottom of the form where users sign up, that's what the text will say. And again, you can have that be whatever you want. You can also enable a custom thank you page message. Maybe you can set it to be something more specific to the membership that you have compared to the general thank you message that will appear on your other memberships based on your options tab. So here I have, thanks for buying access to my premium content, which is specific for this membership. That's a great feature of MemberPress. Another feature is to send a membership specific welcome email to user. This email will be sent in place of, or instead of, the email that, the welcome email that you have set as your default welcome email in your options emails tab of MemberPress. 
This email can be edited just like the, that email or any of the other member press emails. In this case, I'm not going to enable that option. You can also customize the payment methods or the user information fields for each membership. The payment methods that are available to you will be the ones that you have set in your options tab. In this case, I have three. And for this membership, I want to allow my users to pay via PayPal or via Stripe. Whichever one is on the top here is going to be the one that <clears throat> will be defaulted to be selected. But users can always select a different option if they want. So if you want users to choose one over the other, put that one on top. In this case, I want to encourage users to sign up with Stripe, so I'm going to have that one be on top. You can also customize the user information fields. If you have these selected to show on the registration form in your options tab, then these will appear here and you'll be able to select which ones you want to have viewable to your users. In this case, I only want to have the office phone be that option that's available. So I'm going to go ahead and update all of this and let you see what the registration form looks like. So by default, it just looks like this, right? This is without the edits. It's still just a $10. Um, uh, both of those custom fields are here and all of the payment methods are listed here, and here's the generic sign up button that I was talking about. Now if I refresh the page, you will be able to see how it's edited. So again, the text has been edited on the button. My Stripe is the primary method with PayPal as another option. The office phone is available but the other custom field has been eliminated, and the terms have been updated. Now the terms here look kind of messy because I've entered so much here, and I'm going to show you later on how you can edit that to make it look better. So moving on, let's go over the permissions tab. In the permissions tab, you can allow users to create multiple active subscriptions for this membership, meaning that as a, one user can sign up like four or five hundred times for this membership and they'll have all these different subscriptions going if that's something that you want to have enabled. Note that this option is not available for one-time payments that allow for renewals, so keep that in mind. You can also specify who can purchase each membership. In this case, I want it to be only my trial members who can purchase it. But just so you know, you can set it to be everyone, guests, or members. If you set it to everyone, everyone can sign up for it. If it's guests, it means any users who are first to your site, who are WordPress users, will be able to have access to pay or purchase this product or you can set it to be members and like I said I'm gonna set this to be trial members who have purchased can also be members who have purchased nothing or anything on your site or a specific membership and any memberships that you have will show up in this drop down menu I only have trial as the other option though and so that's the one I'm gonna select so now if I update this and go back to that page what it will do is I'll be sent to an unauthorized page that I won't be able to purchase so see you don't have access to purchase this item. Now if I sign in with a user who does have access, then I'll be able to register for that. And I'm going to show you that later on, but first I want to go over the rest of the options. So the price box is something that we'll be covering in another video when we mention groups, because that's what that has to do with. The advanced tab is really cool. Here you can set a membership access URL. So this is the URL where those who have purchased this membership can get the content that they now have access to right? Um, pretty self-explanatory. I want to send them to my premium videos. So those pricing terms I was talking about, you can edit those here. You can leave it to be the default, what you saw earlier, or you can have it be custom, or you can hide those terms altogether. So for this membership, if you can remember, it's four payments of $100. So I'm actually going to enter something that's more specific for that. Right? So that looks a little bit prettier. You can also specify custom login redirect um, URLs for, for each membership that you have. So my default login redirect URL will be that if the member logging in has an active subscription to this membership, um, and if none of the other custom URLs apply to this, then they'll be re redirected to this URL. Because this is on my site, I only need to enter it like this. I don't need to enter my whole entire um, website URL so that's a, a cool feature and like you I mentioned just barely you can add custom login redirect URLs as well 
So you can set this to be after a certain amount of logins or on a certain login, the user will be redirected to the URL that you have set here. So in this case, after the first login, I want my user to be re redirected to cool thing, which is a special offer that I'm offering. And after on number 10, I want them to go to another offer. So I have that set here. And you can create as many different options as you want for that. So I'm going to go ahead and update, and we're going to finish this video. So I'm going to log in with my trial user who has access to the trial membership and should be able to purchase this product. So as you can see here, the terms have been updated to say for easy payments of $100. And I don't need to enter in any of my information. I don't need to actually register because I'm already um, registered on this site as a user. So all that information is stored by MemberPress and I'm just jumped straight to this page to choose my payment option and to sign up. Otherwise your users will have to pay. Here your members will be able to see the exact terms regardless of what you have entered there. So there I can see that two weeks for one dollar the trial then four payments of $100 for four weeks. And so the payment is just going to be that one dollar initially and they'll be charged later automatically. So I'm just going to enter in some fake information so that I can sign up with this test user and you'll be able to see that I'll be taken to my thank you page for this particular membership. So there you go. I've been taken to my thank you page and it's the personal one that I had set up. So it says thank you for buying access to my premium content and I thank you all for watching this video. If you have any other questions on membership options when editing your memberships, please send us an email.